Eh shalom Markin Rakam Kapash and Jimmy Slana giving all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakak Dash, the ones and the elders, the apostles of GMS and Shalom out there to the hopeful next person who's truth and all sincerity. Uh back with another quick video. Um yeah, as you see here, <laughs> um you know you got Mackie D's uh advertising for jobs because you know these are one of the few places that are still you know, out there running, you know, a lot of places have been closing down of late, you know, due to this um, this pandemic, right? But, you know, Mackie D is one of those ones that are still, you know, out there kicking it, right? But but everybody's been um, stuck at home during the lockdowns and that, you know, been, um, uh, what's the word? Not laid off. Uh, but effectively told to stay at home. You know, because of the, the pandemic. So these places have been shut for a while, right? But um, and now they can't get him back to work. <laughs> you know, where the government's been, you know, throwing all these these stimulus checks around. You know, ain't nobody coming back. Right now, I believe this is advertised from from uh, from America. You know, because the the uh, the um brother from GMS Awakening One Four Four the end. Um. You know, shared the shared the image, but um. Even here in the UK, we got a pub chain called um, Weatherspoons. You know, I used to work for them back in the day. You know, they, you know, they don't, um, you know, they don't, they don't pay particularly that well, um, and they refuse to. How did it play out again? Basically, when when they when they locked down and, and they sent uh, the employees away. I think that they weren't gonna they weren't gonna pay them or something like that, and so you know basically they're they're stuck at home on on these um, on these benefits as well, and now now these things are opened up again they can't get them to come back because they don't pay they don't pay that well you don't pay enough in the first place, so you now you got guy you know you got companies like McDonald's now offering free iPhones and that just to get you back in into work. You know, this this, this is a be it seems to be a, a problem of late, trying to get you back into work, man. When you've been spoiled by all these um these benefits and stimuluses, man. You know, and I've never seen nothing like this before. You know, man, are actually paying you to apply for a job there. You know, or offering you something to apply for a job there. You know, other than you know just the the, the regular wages that you would get. You know, for working there, you know, it's kind of mad. You know, but the environment as it is right now is all all kind of messed up, man. And like I said, you know, we're we're in unprecedented times. I've never seen nothing like this. I ain't never heard of nothing like this. <laughs> you know, and yet it's happening. You know, because they they need you to get back in, in, into these uh, into these jobs so they can make money. Because obviously you got no one working working in the stores now. Well. You know you're missing out on um on on making your revenue right, so they, you know they, you know this place is getting desperate. You know, get a free iPhone. You know, then again they don't tell you what model. <laughs> Probably won't be the latest spec in it. Be one of them old ones, but still, you know, it, you know it's, this is strange, and um, you know, I. Welcome to um, you know, universal basic income, man. Because that's what the, that's what the world's going to be living off of uh, in in the not so far future, right? Where they, where these you know more more businesses are going to close down, more and more people are going to be unable to work, you know, and um, yeah, as this place collapses, man, you're gonna you know get these people on on this universal basic income. Which don't these uh these other places have been talking about for a long time, man. All right, which is going to ultimately lead to the MOB. Okay, for you to be able to get access to your benefits. Okay, you have to get the MOB. All right, but um, yeah, that's just uh something that's, that's happening right now. You know, in different parts of the world. Okay, that was an example from America. I gave the one example from here from the UK, but it's all it's all. Or part of prophecy, man. All right, this is uh, Ecclesiastes chapter twelve, verse four. It says, "And the doors shall be shut in the streets." Okay, like I said, businesses have been closing up, 
because it's pandemic and you know a lot of them ain't gonna come back you know a lot of branches a lot of you know a lot of these chains and you know they're not you know they're not gonna open back right so the economy is crumbling right so when the sound of the grinding is low okay the grinding represents the work you know people working all right there's less and less people out there in the workplace all right more and more people are, are on benefits the unemployment rate is is uh you know is up and in, you know and, and it's going to increase uh, so the grinding is low all right this is um and he shall rise up at the voice of the of, of the bird and all the daughters of music shall be brought low okay so the point is on the grind the workers okay there's there's a lack of workforce right now okay because the place is closing down and for people just not wanting to go back to work you know due, due to the cv or, or you know due to the poor wages that these places uh places pay you know they'd rather sit on their ass and uh receive their 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 their, their, their stimulus checks man and their benefits Okay, not knowing or not understanding um, that all this extra money that you know these governments have been pumping into the system is causing inflation. Okay, they're not understanding, and and you know eventually, you know all this is gonna lead to hyperinflation. All right, you you're noticing things are, are starting to cost more. You know, and that's because of the extra printing. You know, but you think it's all good. You know, at the moment, getting your getting your free checks getting your free money well that's gonna put you in a, a, a real shitty position you know like i said in a in a in a, a future not so far away <laughs> right you're gonna start being out, 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 outpriced yeah, you're gonna be start being outpriced on, on buying you know your goods and services man you know so yeah it's all good now but uh, it, you know it ain't gonna it ain't gonna remain that way all right, so yeah, the grinding is low. You know, McDonald's so desperate to get people in, man. They're giving away freebies, man. You know, these other companies are giving freebies. And yeah, that Weatherspoon's thing, that you know, they were saying um, they want double pay on the bank holidays and that. You know, so they they're starting to, you know, um, demand terms and conditions and stuff like that to you know to return and things like that. You know. So yeah, there's a lot of this uh, going on right now. The second Ezra chapter six verse twenty two, and suddenly shall the song of places appear unsown, and the full storehouses shall be suddenly found empty. Okay, so just on the back of that, you know, like I said, you know, you got lack of um, uh, produce. You know, places shutting down. There was um, was it a meat company? J J something in America, one of the, one of the largest ones, you know, you know they were having issues, man. Okay, let me see if I can find that article. Me from. Um, let's see if I find it. Oh yeah, yeah, they they, um, they got cyber attacked. Okay, which sounds strange, but you know, they they got uh, they got computers too, <laughs> right? Um, right, so their their production has has halted or something like that. So it must be days before production resumes after organized cyber cyber security attack affected IT systems in North America and Australia. Officials said. Uh, All right, so it says here, JBS, one of the world's largest international meat processors, was hacked Sunday, the company said in an email, forcing the company to take systems offline and stop work in North America and Australia. The company maintains 11 beef processing facilities in Australia and 26 chicken processing plants in the, in the US. Okay, so they just stopped, they just stopped, man. You know, so <laughs> you're going to, this, this is going to become more and more common. Like I said, things will be going on in the background, you know, this whole time and you're going to see your shells bare. Okay, your storehouse is empty. 
okay all your crops and that man they they're getting they're getting hurt you know so we we you know we're in an unprecedented time right now and things are only going to get worse all right so then here Daniel chapter 12 verse 1 and at that time shall Michael stand up the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people and there was a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time okay we, that's what we're heading into we're heading into that time of trouble man the perfect storm is you know is brewing right and we're heading into that time of trouble such as never never was because the most is bringing all kinds of judgments upon this place you know and it all, it's all going to result in a cataclysmic event of of, of 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 torment and hardship man all right this is um and at that time thy people shall be delivered okay so lord willing you know we be of the let we're going to be delivered from this uh situation that arises man okay we're going to survive you know this is everyone that is found written in the book all right so like I said, we're in unprecedented times, man. Okay, this is this is so weird. Like, never seen nothing like it, you know. But it's getting to that point now, you know. So anyway, this is like a you know, quick update of things that are going on. Thought I'd report on it. So I hope this is edifying, and I'll catch you brothers and sisters on the next one, man. So until next time, say shalom.